um, that ma that material that you've produced with with a lot of um, stimulation for kids to have be reminded of of issues like washing your hands, washing your body. Um, I forget all the rest of them, but visuals are very good. I mean, as, as you'd be aware, in any classroom, um, we learn through a whole range of our sensory. Um, you know, in terms of um, we touch the visual, auditory, and so on. Um, to most kids, I think the visual is a big one, and um, to um, reinforce particularly this basic issue of just wash yourself. We had an issue mm. in the village where the kids were getting infections. Um, it, uh, it came through their feet, I think, because it was we're getting these ulcery things appearing on their feet, and it only happened in the wet season. And we reckon they just they wash their hands, but not wash their feet. And so to get the message through, we did it through the school to get all the parents to make sure before the kids went to bed they washed their feet carefully. So at least they had clean feet mm -hmm. at least once a day. Um, and But that needed reinforcing. Um, and I think it's the reinforcement that those pictures that you've made are just so important so that they're in their face to remind them. Because some of the concept of, of linking washing your hands with sickness is... is it's just not a natural link that that, that is, is made in, in the villages. So that has to be in their face to keep reminding them that you, you don't come out of a toilet without washing your hands. And when you clean yourself, because most of them do have a sort of a wash at night, that you wash yourself thoroughly. You clean, mm. clean your body, you clean your feet and so on. So those things you, you've produced are phenomenal reinforcers to help kids learn um, in a fun way and in, in a safe way because also as you know um, you got you need a safe environment for, for kids to learn and those sort of fun things are safe environments um, so I commend you for what you've done I'd like to use them and um, we've got the teachers that are just craving for things that they can use to reinforce particularly the health and hygiene things which are not on the government's agenda over there in schools. Um, so that's, um, that's going to be very helpful. You've done well with that. Thanks, Daryl.